Hi, my name is Chase. I'm with Summit Machine Tool. Uh, today I'm going to go over a clutch adjustment. I'm working on a 16 inch B lathe today. I've gone through and already taken off all the covers. Um, now on this particular lathe, you can adjust the clutch through this small back cover. Um, however, on some of our other models, you do have to pull the top cover to get to it. It's a real simple adjustment. It takes about five to 10 minutes. Um, you want to put your machine in the second highest RPM possible. This machine runs up to 2000 RPM. You want to set it at about 1600. Once you are in that range, you're going to want to run the machine for about 30 minutes to get it up to operating temperature. Uh, this is important because it lets your clutches and brake fully warm up so that you can get proper numbers during your test. With your standard three jaw chuck on, you want to be able to engage in forward and in reverse and it take roughly two to three seconds. Um, if it's not, make a slight adjustment here. Keeping these things uh, in spec makes them last a whole lot longer. Okay, well here we go. The first thing you're going to want to do is shut down all the power to the machine, making sure to follow your company's safety protocol and lockout tagout procedures. More than likely it's going to be your forward clutch that you're going to be adjusting. You want to move your shifter handle up and down to watch this collar move back and forth so you know which clutch you're working on. You can see your clutch packs here. Uh, this one here is going to be your forward and this is going to be your reverse. I uh, went ahead and pulled this out of parts, uh, our parts department for you so you can take a look at it. This right here, this little pin, this is going to be what you're going to be adjusting inside there. It's a spring-loaded pin. Once you pop it out, that little foot here lets it turn to the side and hold it. You can see, once I line it back up, it'll fall back into position. Now, there's multiple holes around this clutch all the way around that let this pin lock in. I'm going to refer to those later on as notches. So each time you turn it, you want to go one notch at a time. That way you keep track of how far you've adjusted your clutch. Today I'm going to adjust the reverse clutch on this machine because it's a little bit loose. Uh, that's going to be this, this one here. To start off, it's real easy. You can move your belts in the back of the cabinet to turn your clutches so that you have access to uh, the locking tabs. I'm just going to take this pin here and work it out until it pops out. There it goes. You want to tighten it just a little bit, put it back into place so that you can keep track of how many how many notches you've gone. Once you hit that spot, it will drop back in. There we go. That's one notch. The reason you do that is so that you know how you can keep track of how far you've adjusted it. So I'm going to do it one more time. I'm going to pull this back out, turn it to the side. Again, just give it a little bit, put the pin back in place, and just ease it around until it falls in. And sometimes may need a little bit more adjustment, but uh, remember, be uh, very easy with it. A little bit goes a long way. Um, now on this particular machine, since you're in here, you can adjust the brake. The brake is adjusted by these two lock nuts here that back into each other. Uh, the way you adjust it is just back this outside one off while holding the back one. Get it loose and then just tighten the inside nut in about a half a turn. Typically a half a turn will get you about one second off of, uh, off of your braking time. And we'll get it tightened back up here. Throw your lid back on, check everything. Um, once you're done, button everything back together and you're good to go. It's that simple.